how to use Linktree Shop step by step. Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how you can use Linktree Shop. Now, this is an amazing feature on Linktree which allows you to promote your favorite product and it's a simple way for you to make sure your Linktree is organized, especially if you're an influencer or someone that has a lot of things to promote. Then you can keep your affiliates and your basic recommendations separate from your purchasing links. So let's get started. The first thing you're gonna do is click on sign up for free to get started with your free Linktree account. Then you're going to put in your email address that you want to use to sign up. Click on continue over here to proceed with your Linktree. Once you click on continue, we're going to receive a code in our mailbox. So you're just gonna have to open this up and I'm just gonna open that up and verify my email address to Linktree. And this is our Linktree code over here. I'm just gonna copy and paste that into Linktree. Once we've done that, we can proceed with creating our Linktree. Now, even on one email address, you can actually create multiple different Linktrees like we can see over here. But we're gonna create a new Linktree for our new portfolio. So first off, we're going to click on continue and we're going to set a main password for our account and then click on continue. For some reason, Linktree is having an issue. So we're gonna redo our sign up part, which is usually very quick and easy. I'm just gonna proceed with a different email. I think because our Linktree account has multiple accounts to it, it's taking a bit more time to sync them up all together. And we are going to log into our Linktree account over here. And we're not actually gonna log in. We're gonna create a new Linktree by clicking on our email address. And now from here, we're going to get started with creating our Linktree account. So first off, we're going to choose your username. So our username is going to be Alma. Let's say that's our username. Alma is taken. So the Alma, whatever your name is, you can use whatever name, the Alma or the Alma Spencer. And this is not taken. So I'm just going to proceed and click on continue over here. And once I've clicked on continue, I can choose what I'm using Linktree for. So I am using this as a creator and we can choose which version of Linktree we want. We're gonna proceed with the free one because Linktree Shop is available on all of them. We're gonna skip the basic setting up process and we're gonna move directly towards our Linktree building. And once we click on continue, this is what Linktree is going to look like. On the right, it's going to show you what your Linktree account looks like. Now, the first thing you wanna do is click on your profile avatar on the top left, and you're gonna upload your own image. You can use your logo, you can use your own personal image. Usually this is an image, a headshot, whatever type of image you're using as, you know, your profile picture or whatever you prefer. And if it's your business, it can be your business logo as well. I'm just going to be adding this image as a representative image. So we're just gonna select that from here and then click on crop click on upload to upload our image and once we've done that we can connect our basic socials so things like our instagram tiktok youtube and other social media platforms however a first i'm going to add our simple instagram so i'm just going to click on instagram click on over here instagram and i just want to add my instagram profile in my link tree as a simple link I don't want it to, you know, display any of my feeds. And I'm just going to enter the URL, which is going to be instagram.com slash gleaming girly like this. And once I've done that, it has been added as a regular old link. I'm going to just turn it on like this. And now it's displaying my Instagram on my link tree. Then I can click on add and add more links. However, then if I click on shop on the left, I will have a separate shop section where I can add products. So I can click on add over here and I can add a collection of products or individual products. And all I have to do is copy their payment gateways. So, so if I have Amazon affiliates, which a lot of people do like to do, because it's one of the simplest and easiest ways to make money with affiliate marketing and easily promote them. And I'm just going to copy this. Once I copy this, I can go back into Linktree, paste my link and then proceed. What it's going to do is that it's going to take all the information from our website, whatever website it might be. It can be your own Shopify store or it could also be a third-party affiliate. So like we are promoting 
we are promoting our Amazon recommendations. Once you start adding your products, you have to turn this shop feature on. So you will see on your top, you will have the option to publish your shop. You're going to turn this on. And once you do that, you're going to see what it looks like on your link tree. So on your link tree, then you're going to have two separate sections. One is for links and one is for shop. Once people click on the shop, they will get a shop section where products are listed like this. Now, you have my products and you can click on add to add individual product or collections. However, if you go into your edit section and then click on add, this is where you can categorize things into sections. So for that, I'm going to build a collection title. Let's say this is makeup and then I can build a secondary collection called skincare like this. And these are going to be two separate collections where I can add individual products. I'm going to click on add product and I'm going to add the cushion foundation into the makeup section. So whenever people click on my shop and they choose a particular collection, they can see all items. And if you have multiple different shop items that are from multiple different niches, such as home improvement, skincare, makeup, fashion, whatever your niche is, you can separate all those niches because people are looking for one specific thing. If one of your audience members comes up to your link tree and they're looking for a specific thing, they're not gonna wanna have to browse through all of the shop products. Instead, they want to have easier access and this can provide that easier access. So now I'm going to add a simple product to the skincare section of my link tree. And I'm just going to take whatever products we have. I'm really not gonna picky about this. We're just copying the normal link. Obviously, if you are using Linktree, you want to be using the affiliate links or you want to be using your own products. I'm going to click on add product and first I'm going to have to manually add my product by pasting the link. Once the product has been added to my link tree, I can add it to a specific collection. So now that this product has been added, I'm going to click on the purple icon. Then I'm going to go into my add product section and add it to the skincare section. Now, when you add products like this, you do have to turn on the collection options to display your collections like this. And now once I've turned this on, if I go back into shop, you will see it displays skincare, makeup, and then the individual products. Now, when you display collections, you don't want to display individual products listed directly on your shop section. So you're going to turn them off from here. And instead of having, you know, every product be listed, there are only two categories and then people can click on which category they are looking in and they can find their relevant product. If you have only one product in a certain niche, so I have only one um, dresser recommendation, I can regularly add that without having to create a separate category for that and display that in my shop page as a separate item because it wouldn't fall under my regular collections. And that is how you can get started with the shop page on your link tree. I hope you guys found this video helpful and if you did make sure to leave a like and subscribe.